That's pretty cool. Pretty cool animation. The way it drops that thing in there, I hope we don't ever ship anything fragile. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to set up some drone ports and a nitrogen um, mining and refining facility, um, more specifically to make the fused um, frames. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but before we get started with that, we have a total now of that many. <laughs> Uh, of the assembly director systems and I think it's time for us to start sending those up to the space elevator so let's jump in here and I'm going to actually yeah I want to back up a little bit before I set this guy on automate or I mean auto drive rather because sometimes if they're like in the station they get stuck when you start it. Um, so, yeah, he should already be set up to uh, with his timetable and yeah, and everything should be all hooked up on the other end. I went and looked at that the other day just to make sure. So let's get a load of these things and take them up to, uh, to the space elevator. The first of many that will have to go up there. I have all of my uh, little semi-temporary or semi-permanent, semi-temporary, semi-permanent. I guess that all means the same, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, machine set up over there, pulling stuff out of our storage. All right. And here we go. I just love the sound of these trains. So cool looking. Or hot looking as the case may be. In this particular case. Alright, let's jump out here. Gonna unload? Okay, wait a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, you know what I bet the problem is? I bet you I don't have this set to unload. I probably haven't set the load. Uh huh. That was it. Okay. So I wonder if edit timetable. I can just switch these around, right? Yeah. All right. Okay. Set this to zero two. Save. Uh. 
Crate wagon is fully loaded and unloaded. I think, um... I think I'll just let it run because it's not that big of a deal. I mean, it only it'll only bring a couple down here at a time, but we have plenty of power. If we get to a point where we're starting to get low on power, I can turn it off at that point. <clears throat> um, yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, so now uh, you should stop here and offload. <laughs> or not. <laughs> you bastard. Okay. Well, all right, let's let him go get another, a, a few more and then come back and then he should offload. I got two belts running into here. That's a lot of stuff. While we're waiting on him, let's do the ma'am. All right, alternate heavy encased frames. 75 per minute on these plates or 45 per minute on these plates. What does the normal recipe do? 20 per minute. All right. So that requires iron ingots and plastic for 75 per minute. This requires steel ingots and plastic for 45, but only three steel ingots versus 10 iron ingots. This gives us 2.8 per minute. Um, we already have this alternate recipe that gives us 3.75 per minute and uses rubber. You guys told me in the comments, too, by the way, that there's more hard drives on the map than there are alternate recipes. So you'd never really run out of drives, you know, before you got all the recipes. Um. All right. Well, in light of that, I, I, I like this one just because of the high quantity that we can get from it. So I think we're going to take this one. All right. And then this is the last drive that I have. And then we'll have to go out and get some more. We still have to go out and explore the the dune desert anyway, so. And we'll pick up some more drives when we do that. Okay, is that train coming? I think so. Yeah, I see him coming. There we go. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool animation. The way it drops that thing in there, I hope we don't ever ship anything fragile. <laughs> All right, here they go. Assembly director systems. Whatever the hell that actually means, I don't know. These damn things are expensive to make. And look at that, upper right-hand corner. We finally start to see some numbers counting up on those. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Um, so let's head on back to the ranch. And the first part of this project, um, we have to do at the base. And I, uh, I, I tried really hard actually to get what we're about to do to work with just one drone and one drone station well one drone station at each location and I couldn't I just couldn't get it to work uh, because the thing about the drone stations is that they're they're really only designed to work with one product you can include multiple products, but what was happening was um, in order to make the fused frames, we need to ship um, heavy modular frames and aluminum casings. 
and the recipe in the blender uses one heavy frame to like 50 aluminum casings or something like that. So what was happening was that the system was getting all jammed up with the heavy frames because, you know, it only uses one at a time or one per cycle. And, you know, I tried messing around with some smart splitters and, you know, rerouting and looping around the frames to keep the aluminum casings moving through. And I just, you know, at the, the long story short, I, I, just, I couldn't get it to work. So what that means is we're going to have to have separate drone stations, one for each of the product that we're going to ship up there. The shipping back of the frames, it doesn't matter. I mean, both of them can bring them back with the way I'm going to set it up. It, it was, it's just, you know, the product that it, it took out there that was giving me fits. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is uh, we need to set... Well, actually, here, let's... We're going to build these ports up on the roof of our, our storage shed. And in order to do that, we need to replace these guys with foundations because I noticed that when you build on roof pieces things get a little bit weird um, you know like for example the supports for your conveyor belts they like sink into the roof and then things don't line up so we're gonna replace all of those with foundations and we're gonna use the metal the metal grip foundations. Okay, so you go there, and then we're gonna change you to grip metal. And then put this on Zoop. Oh, so, that's interesting, that leaves a little bit of a gap there. Wait, is that gap up here though too? No, it's not. Huh? I don't think that'll cause any problems. That's just—it's just odd. It's all. And that shouldn't really affect anything at all down here in terms of aesthetics. I take that back. Those covered the lights. Really. Oh, that is weird. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny that the lights are still shining. Hmm. When I tested this, I I just left the roof pieces there, and that's how, and that's why I know that you know they were going to act strangely. Um. Okay. So I don't like that it's messing with our lights. Can I put lights on the underneath side of these things? Uh, it looks like maybe I can. I just need quick wire. So, you know, that's kind of weird too. Okay, let's... Pick those up. And we'll reset them down. If I remember, and I think those had to be kind of clipped a little bit off to the side in order to get them all to fit. I'd put billboards instead in here for lighting, but I haven't been able to figure out how to get them to attach to the underneath side of a, you know, of, of a ceiling. I, I know that it can be done because I've seen other YouTubers do it. I just don't know how to do it. I haven't figured that out. But I haven't tried super hard to figure it out either, so... Somebody's probably got a tutorial video out there on it. Or if you guys know um, and want to tell me in the comments, that would be 
That'd be just wonderful. Yeah. Okay. Wire. Uh, what the hell's going on? There. That was weird. Okay. So that's back. The way it should be. Things are. I have I have a bit of an organize a uh, little bit of organized chaos going on here. <laughs> um. I set the belts up as neatly as I could, all things considered, so they're not spaghetti, but it's just, yeah, it's just a little organized chaos. That's exactly what it is. All right. So, um, let's go ahead and set down the drone, the two drone ports on this end first, uh, because we're going to have to kind of work around them a bit. Oh, you know what? That should be three, which means we're probably going to be short a couple of things. Yeah. Well, we don't have to set the third one up till we get up on the mountain. So I'll just have to make more stuff for that when the time comes. Uh, whoops. Okay. Let's put, let's lock you down there, move you over to there. And uh, I'm trying to think if I'm if I'm going to use any lifts on this that are that will drop down. I don't think I will. Let's uh, if we put it there. Does the lift stick out? No, it's well. That's good enough. That works. Okay, yeah, so let's put that there. Um, right, okay. And then we'll put a second one over here. Move that to there. gap is really odd. Okay. So we're going to call this drone port. Um, let's call it a aluminum casings. Cause that's what it's going to supply. And we'll do a B aluminum casing up on the mountain. You know what? I need to make two more of these. That's right. I need two on each end. Right. Okay. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. So that's what this one will be called. And then that's all we have to do with this at the moment. And then this one we will call a heavy frames or heavy modular frames okay now we are going to add to our storage uh, batteries and the fused frames so let's come down here And we will put uh, we'll put batteries in here. So out the center will be batteries, and then this one will be out the right the fuse modular frames. Okay. Now what we want to do here is take those two walls out. Uh, 
Um, we want to get the conveyor wall one. Man, that thing's being really finicky. Okay, now we gotta slide it over to there. And then we just put that wall there. Move it over. And that wall there and move it over. Got a little bit of flickering going on there, but that's all right. Okay, um, now let's go out here, and I'm going to put a couple of wall brackets and just a temporary belt here. So that we can put a merger, right? Merger? Uh, yeah, because these are going to be inputs, right? Um, oh. No, I want you to go there. Eh, it's going to be an asshole. I know what we can do, though. Let's, um... Let's just put that there, and then we can get rid of this. Now it's, yeah, now it's pointing the right direction. Okay, let's go back inside. And we want to run this belt into there. Okay, good. Now, let's fix our signs here. This is going to be fused modular frame. Good. Okay, got that done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a temporary um, manufacturer and we're going to have it make a whole bunch of batteries we're going to basically have it completely fill up that bin and fill up these two drone ports because batteries if you didn't know are the fuel for drones all right so uh what do we want we want to go to production and we want a uh a manufacturer Put that right there. Let's set this to batteries. Oh, yeah, and I do have this alternate battery recipe, which allows me to put straight sulfur in, because uh, the default recipe requires you to first make uh, sulfur dioxide or, no, sulfuric acid, yeah, sorry. Um, so with this one, we don't have to do that. We can just put sulfur straight in. And this does 30 per minute. I think the other one only does 20. That doesn't suck. Okay, so let's grab this and just put you in there. Yeah, that's kind of stuffed in there, but this is temporary, so I'm not going to worry about it. Power you up. Okay, so we need sulfur, aluminum sheet, plastic, and wire. Let's move you out of the way because we're going to run some belts over here. I'm just going to spaghetti these lines because, again, very temporary. We'll probably pull this down before the end of this episode. Maybe. 
or very shortly thereafter. Okay, so what did I say we needed? We needed sulfur, wire, plastic, and... Uh, shit, I can't remember what the other thing was. Sulfur, wire, plastic, and... I guess I could have just looked in the codex. Oh, aluminum sheets, right, okay. Yeah, there's just no clean way to do this, so we're just going to completely spaghetti this all the way through. There's just too much shit going on in here. to here. That takes care of the aluminum sheeting. Uh, okay, so we also need wire in plastic, right? Here. I know, I have a terrible memory. Yeah, plastic. Okay. So we'll just run a, a spaghetti line from the top port there. Run this out to here. And then wire. And what we're going to do for sulfur is we're going to pull it uh, from over here. All of my excess sulfur is just going into a sink here. So we're going to put a smart splitter down here. And we're going to tell it to send sulfur out the left. Then let's just run this out here. Let's go right through here. I know it's ugly as hell, but it's only temporary. So don't get your britches in a knot. Okay. And once that sulfur gets on over here, it should start up. Um, wait a minute. Why isn't the sulfur coming? output sulfur 
I don't get it. Oh, that's what the problem is. The splitter didn't actually split the belt. Um, if we set this to overflow, it won't send any sulfur through, but it should send everything else through. Kind of weird how that works, but... Okay. So while the sulfur is working its way over there, we need to go back inside. And we're going to grab a lift. And we're going to just pop that right through the ceiling. Then we're going to put a hole there just to be official. And then let's put this here. This will come to... Oh, you're going to do that to me, are you? Can I get you around here? Yeah, we can. And I think we just want to go right there. Oh, nope, it didn't come far enough. See, this is going to do its thing on the ceiling, so it might... Is it going to sink in? Uh, nope, looks like it's going to behave. All right. And there we go. Okay. Um, you know what, too? I actually have some extra batteries that we got from somewhere, probably from a hard drive. Uh, let's grab those, too. Because I have no use for them beyond, beyond this. All right. And then we'll do the same thing here. Bring you out to there, and then back to here. And that gets our batteries in here. Okay, so we'll let uh, we'll let that fill the two drone ports up, and then once that happens, you know, then it'll start filling up the storage down below. Once the storage down below is full, then I'm just going to tear this down. And we'll just run off of what's in storage until it gets really low. And then I'll just set this up again in the future and make another batch. That's the, that's the plan. All right. Now, the next thing we need to do is um, we need to set up aluminum casings for this port and heavy frames for that one. Why are you not going in there? Oh, because these have to be powered. That's right. Uh, they have to be powered for them to take anything in, which is true for anything in this game. Uh, okay, so the connection's up there. <sighs> I want to make sure that we don't interfere with our belts. It might be okay to put that there. Because the belt will wrap around and go that way anyway. See, now it's now it's taking the batteries in. Got to do the same thing on this side. off it there and see what happens. 
Oh, actually, you're over there, aren't you? On that side. Okay. Right, because it's flipped around the other direction. Very good. Very, very good indeed. Let's go back into the storage. We're slowly whittling down those automated wiring that I accumulated from my testing. Okay, so for the heavy frames, I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to just poke right up through the floor and also for the aluminum casing. Okay. Ah, shit. Um, okay, so... What we're going to need to do here then is, let's grab that and put it right here. Oh, no, that is not going to work. Hmm. Thought I had that even with the other, other one, but I guess I didn't. It must have been lining up on something else. Still need to come out one more. There we go. Alright, I guess it's just waiting to make another batch of batteries. So what we'll do with you is... Bring you around this side. Um, okay. We need enough room to put a lift on here. Let's put the lift on right now so we know what we're working with. Um, and I want it to turn that way. So I think what we're going to need to do here is temporarily put that guy there. And then... Do that. Why don't we, uh, alright, why aren't we getting more batteries? What the hell's going on here? Are we, and I just, I'm just missing them? Probably. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think I, yeah, I removed the lift. <laughs> That's what I did. Which should be right there. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Okay. There's a 
There's our batteries. Okay, so back to here. Um, that fucking cable is going to be a pain in my ass. So I think what we'll do is... Uh, let's come back down here. And... Run a cable off the corner. lined up right is it this guy needs to come back to there oh nope that broke the broke the connection you can add lines to an existing line but you can't or, or poles rather but you can't take them back apart without breaking the line That works. Okay. I'm just gonna remove those because they're not really doing a damn bit of good there. All right, let's hook up the aluminum casings. I'm gonna go look over here for a minute. Right. Okay. So we'll do the same thing. Um, so let's put you there. Actually, no, right there. And we'll grab that wire. that wire. You're going to bump into there, aren't you? Okay, no worries. We'll just take you around this way. Okay, we're going to have to do the same thing here. Um, yeah, we want to come to there. Go back to. And into there. Good. That gets our aluminum casings loading. And we'll put an output lift there. Now what we want to do is go back inside. And for our fused modular frames, Turn that that way and run it up through the floor. These will be inputs to store the frames when the drones bring them back to us. Oh, damn it, Jim. Really? Hmm. Well, the other thing, too, is I need to... I need to get that up um, higher than that. So what that means then is you come to here.
Okay, this is three thingamadoodles high. No, two thingamadoodles high. Okay. And I actually think I want it to point to the south, too. that open for a moment just to make sure that it does in fact line up correctly. Alright. I think we'll bring you to there. But I'm going to use these. Oh, right, we gotta get a, a merger here also. So that belt's gonna come this way. That's lined up correctly. Oh wow, that thing's really sticking out, isn't it? Alright. That's also not... Well, neither one of them damn things are straight. What we could do, though, is bring this back in a notch. I think that's what we will do. Alright. Get rid of all of this. That looks good. I'm liking it. Okay, so it looks like the both of the drone ports are completely full of batteries. They take 200 in there, which is good. And let's also put a hole here. Whoops. Just for aesthetic reasons. This doesn't even need to be here. Now, I'm not liking this scenario, aesthetically speaking, so let's just do... No, let's do... Put those there so they have some supports, even though they don't need them. And we'll remove those. I think we're done uh, with setting things up down here. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to build a couple of drones for the drone ports. And they'll just hang out down here until I get everything connected up above. Alright, so let's go to transport. And we'll build a drone there. And one there. Now, one thing that I find unusual <laughs> about these drones is they appear to me to be burning some kind of rocket fuel. But we haven't given them any fuel. We've just given them batteries. So, I don't know. Not sure what the hell's going on with that. These things are really cool, though. It'll be fun to see them in action. 
And yeah, I think that's it uh, for down here. I think we have everything set up down here that we need to to get set up. Um, so we're just going to let this, like I said, run until it completely fills its bin up in there with batteries, and then we'll tear all that down. All right, guys. Um, looking at the time, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here because we're almost at the one hour mark. And what we're going to do up on the mountain is going to be uh, take a lot longer than just one hour. So this is just kind of a good stopping point. So we'll continue this project in the next episode uh, where we will build our nitrogen mining facility and fused frames production so with that being said thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode Bye bye